Hey everybody, Brian Foster here, a and Fishing Lure, Striper Guide Service. I just uh, kind of go over a few things today in a short video. I've had some people ask before about splashers, thumpers, and kind of what are they, how do they work, how do I have mine rigged up. So I'll go over that. I'm also going to go over uh, some rod holders real quick. Just uh, kind of how my, my boat rigged and what I like. Um, so with that, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of hit that real quick. Um, my favorite rod holders are these. They're called Cannon by made of a brand. You've probably heard them if you know anything about downriggers or any of that kind of stuff. Um, these are my favorite. There's a lot out there. Driftmaster makes some good ones for like cat fishermen and stuff. Be ready. I know a lot of guide boats have those on them. Um, Scotty makes some. Like I said, there's a lot of brands. These are just my favorite. The reason why I like them is they uh, they work great for both bait casting, open face, um, spinning rods. I, I like something that holds some spinning rods, hitting top water, doing different types of fishing. I want to be able to set my spinning rod down. And uh, these have a slot right here to hold your uh, spinning reel in place so they won't move um i also like uh the feature they, they seem to hold the reels very good um yeah and you can also lock them this piece right here twist and turn so they can lock them these are just very solid strong and sturdy built holders um i also like they come with this uh extension they lock in place you can twist them turn any direction you can also adjust right here um yeah so uh you can get flush mounts when you uh buy them they come with uh bolt on holders but i went ahead and bought flush mounts and flush mount them you know my boat you can also uh get these extensions so like on the very front and the back of my boat i wanted to extend them up off the sides just a hair bit these are about a six inch extension. Gets them off the side of the McGunnel. Um, these work really good. I like them. I can set them right there. I can grab my reel, my rod real quick. Got a bite, got my pole bent over. I just grab it and go. Like I say, you can also set your spinning reel in here. Locks it. You can put your uh, put your rod and reel in these and you're not gonna lose it. I, uh, I love them. You can troll with them. They have a lot of uses. Um, so yeah, those are my favorite. They're made by Canon. You can find them on Amazon and go to Canon's website and, uh, you can order them there. So I have about, uh, six of them on each side. I have, uh, two on my very back of my boat that I run and then four on my very front. And uh, I'll show you real quick. I've got one rigged up right here, actually on the side of my boat. And you can you can see it right there. Comes up. You can turn around. Pops in place. Here's the base. Um, like I say, you can move it around. Just hook it right there. Works really good. Here's the base. Um, yeah. So that's gonna cover that. So I'm gonna kind of move to the next thing. Um, thumpers. Have people ask, what's a thumper? How does a thumper work? Um, a thumper is basically just a, uh, it's almost like a battery box, basically, with a rubber mallet in it, runs on a motor, and it's just a constant thump. So, uh, basically, any sound you make transfers through the water. Um, these thumpers, what they do is they simulate bait fish, basically feeding fish, and, uh, that hit of that mallet in that box is just a constant sound and it transfers through the water. And it, it's just basically a fish attracting it. Um, yeah, stripers, hybrid, sand bass. It's a lot of your uh, predator species, they, uh, they hear that sound and they think that there's bait fish in the area, fish feeding, so on. And it just basically makes them curious. Um, it works very good. Uh, a lot of times it'll bring in schools under your boat you'll you might not have it on you might be anchored up you turn it on you know 10 15 20 30 minutes next thing you know you got 
fish just schooled up underneath your boat. Um, it works very good. Just, there's uh, several guys out there, you know, kind of made their own. Mine I use, it's made by a guy named Bobo. It's called Bobo Stumper. You can look him up on uh, Facebook. It works, uh, his works really good. He kind of gives you some instructions, gives you several options. Um, mine came wired with a switch. I have it um, in the bottom of my boat. I, uh, I like it down in the hole, kind of hidden. I don't want it sliding around. I don't want it just moving in the hole. I want, I want it pretty well secured down the bottom of my boat. I feel like the more uh, thump and the more that you can transfer through your boat into the water, the better. So uh, it, it is kind of ironic. I know back in the day growing up, parents always told us, shh, be quiet. You're making too much noise and so on. And uh, you know, here we are you got a thumper it makes all kinds of noise and racket and it draws fish in so uh i like it it's a very useful tool might be something you look into like i say contact bobo um i think there's maybe a few other people out there that might make them um his worked well for me so uh, i'll show you how i have mine rigged up real quick um yeah this is the back of my boat. And basically what I have on the back of my boat is I have it down in my hole underneath the seat right here. This is the back, this is like my casting deck right here. I'm gonna lift this seat up and I'm gonna show you what I have. So this is basically down the bottom of my boat. I have a Ranger Center console is what I have. And uh, I can lift this back seat up and I can get down here to like my filters and all that, battery charger, but Right here's my box. This is my thumper. And I got a switch right here. And I just flip that switch on and you can hear it. You can hear a constant thump. And uh, that constant thump just transfers through the hole of my boat into the water. I then, uh, whenever I'm on the water, I just turn it on, close my seat, and you can still hear it. Yeah, sometimes it, it does get a little loud. Sometimes you get tired of hearing it. You can flip it off, flip it on. Um, I've got it wired directly to a fuse, and then it goes to my batteries right there in the back of my boat. Someday I plan on going ahead and wiring it to a switch on my console just so it's easily turned on and off, especially with people in my boat. But, uh, yeah, it works really well. been using it. Ooh, I've been using one for probably four or five seasons now. It works really well. Um, this winter we've had, a, it's been a little bit challenging. The fish have been kind of tough this winter. Um, you might turn it on, get them under your boat. Sometimes they dis dissipate, they disappear. You have to turn it off and they come right back. But yeah, it works. I definitely recommend it. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn it off. I'll show you right here. Put that switch and it's off. But uh, that cost a thump, it works. It's kind of a weird technique. Um, I think basically somebody one day was hitting the bottom of their boat with a rod handle and uh, the thump and they noticed, man, I got fish under my boat. So uh, yeah, that uh, works. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move over to my splasher prop, my trolling motor. I'm gonna kind of explain what that is next. And I'm gonna kind of go over how that works so on the back of my boat here I have a basically a piece of I'll close this compartment but real quick I have a basically a piece of angle iron I have aluminum right there and I got it bolted on I've got basically just a cheap Minn Kota riptide trolling motor and what this trolling motor does is I turn it on and I have my prop about halfway to three quarters of the way in the water and I'll flip it to the reverse setting, number one. I don't want it turning a whole lot, but I do want it just enough that it makes a splash. That splash attracts fish. Believe it or not, it does. What it does is it uh, brings fish in that they, they, they're kind of curious. So they uh, see that splash, they think that bait fish are Work in the top of the water. Uh, maybe uh, other fish, other predator fish, say striper, hybrid, you know, sand bass, and so on. 
they think that they're chasing fish to surface other bait fish so uh yeah we uh several guys about every guy on the lake runs a splasher prop very useful tool if anything else that's probably your number one necessity if you want to get fish under you i highly recommend it but i just have mine um wired right here i'll show you how i got i got it wired right here it goes directly to the back of my boat then goes underneath my boat to my batteries of course i have it on a fuse i have it set up like that i'm gonna go ahead and step down real quick because i'm gonna show you my prop and how i have my prop set up Okay. Um, so I'm gonna come back here to the back of my boat, and as you can see, I've got basically just a piece of aluminum angle, and then I have a board just to make, make sure it's good and tough and steel. But anyways, there's several different ways you can do it. This is how I have mine mounted on the back of my boat. I know some people have like a little platform right here, and they attach it that way. That works too. Just whatever you need to do to get this in the water. So normally I'll run it down here. This is my water line generally on my boat. I'm gonna drop it down just a little bit. I want, like I said, a half to three quarters of the way in the water. That way when the prop is going, and like I said, I'll run mine in reverse, that it's getting in the water and it's making a thump, just like the thumper. I want that splash I want a good splash off of it. I don't want it too fast where it just kind of scares them off, but I want it going the right speed where it makes a thump, a constant thump. Every time that prop hits the water, I want a thump, you know, and of course the splash helps out also. So this is how I did my blades. I have them just uh, 90 degreed. I take my heat gun, I heat my blades up and I just bend them over. Be careful, you don't want to get it too hot to where you just bend them and bust them, but you want to get it just warm enough where the plastic's warm. Go ahead and bend your prop blade over, and it works just like that. You can also um, buy special props. Um, I think there's a guy named Roger Cornelson down in uh, Kingston. He makes props for these, um, splasher prop, uh, gray, gray line bait tanks. Um, the guy that makes those makes them. I just did this, works for me. It's kinda cheap. Anyways, I think the other props are about 50 bucks. This is just a prop that came on mine. I just did it. It's been worked for me ever since. But So it just gives you an idea. But like I say, get both blades and you want them to go reverse. And uh, every time that hits the water, it's gonna make a thump and it's gonna make a splash. And I want just a constant splash and a constant thump. Not nothing big, don't need to be putting water in the boat or anything like that, but just a low, constant splash. Like I say, put my trolling motor on the number one setting and it is perfect. But I just wanted to show you kind of how I had mine mounted. Like I say, I got my wire coming down and I got it going down to the back of my boat and it's ran all the way to my batteries. That way, uh, anytime I have it plugged in, it's ready to go, it's hot. You know, I turn my boat on, and uh, basically as soon as I hit the water, as soon as I'm, you know, unloaded to my first spot, and I'm uh, going after fish, I just go ahead and turn that thing on. It's probably the most reliable thing you can do on the lake to bring in striped bass, hybrids, sand bass, any uh, predator species that you're targeting. So, uh, anyways, I hope that's kind of helpful. I gave you some ideas. Um, if you have any questions, hit me up. You know, message me on here. You can email me. You can find me at A and B um, Lure Service and Striper Guide on Facebook. We're also A underscore B underscore Fishing Co on Instagram. I, I would love if you follow me. Go ahead and hit like, subscribe. Um, so with that, I hope you uh, have a great day. Thank you.